Hey guys, it's me Dave, back with another Robo Room. Uh, today we're going to work on a project that is actually going to be used in my growing room and part of one of my other channels, my Indoor Growing with Dave. Um, I'm using the Raspberry Pi as you can see here. I'm going to be using it to pull temperature information, which I'm using the DHT22. Uh, of the room that the, my indoor peppers are growing in and email that to me so that it's always updated or I always know what the temperature is and what the humidity is. The other thing I'm going to add is the ability to have one of my uh, Twitter accounts tweet that information like once or twice a day so that I can just pop onto that uh, if I don't have access to my email for whatever reason. Uh, the last thing I'm going to add is a camera to take a picture once a week so that I can see the progress of the peppers as, as they're growing. So what I have here is my Raspberry Pi uh, set up with Raspbian. You can check out my uh, my quick guide on that. Uh, and then I have the DHT22. Now these are this is a temperature and humidity module. Uh, they're cheap two or three bucks. I'll put a link in the description down below. I have it on a breadboard right now. I'm going to make it a more permanent setup. But as you can see, if I can get in on the pins here, I'm using um, the 3.3 volt for the DHT, which is the blue wire, and that goes, there's four pins on the bottom of the, of the DHT. Let me, let me grab one of these. So this is what the bottom of the DHT looks like. There's four pins there, so let's just set that there. So the blue wire is going to 3.3 volt, which is this far left pin. The gray wire, which I have attached to uh, GPIO 4 on the Raspberry Pi, I believe, is on the second pin over, which is the data line. Third pin over we don't use, and the last pin is ground. So just connecting to any uh, ground, come on, focus. Any ground doesn't want to focus on the, on the Raspberry Pi will work fine. So, let's get this to focus. So those are the pins, that's the setup that we're gonna use. I have it wired into my network right now, that will change. I'm going to set it up so it uses a, um, a wireless uh, a Wi-Fi connector into the USB. Focusing is not working on this phone, this camera right now. There we go. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be working on now. So let's, this is the physical setup minus attaching the camera. So let's jump into the code. All right, now that we're logged into the Raspberry Pi, uh, we're gonna need to get some libraries that are used for the DHT22. So the first thing you need to do is if you don't have the git uh, application, you're gonna wanna do this, sudo apt-get install git. Uh, that'll allow you to pull it from GitHub, uh, the information that we need. So you can get that installed first. And then in the base directory, you wanna do git clone. And then this is the address, which I'll put in the description uh, of the video for the add a fruit uh, libraries of the DHT. So you want to grab that. That's going to be uh, the information that we need. After you've gotten the libraries, we're going to jump into an apt get update just to make sure that everything is updated. And then next we're going to do an apt get install build essential space Python dev. These are going to be two things that we need uh, installed and set up uh, to use the libraries from the Adafruit uh, uh, library. Um, and then the last thing we're going to do is python setup.py install. And that's going to install uh, everything that we need to have done. You may have to run that with the sudo command just so that you can get those installed. Next we'll, we'll push the Raspberry Pi through a reboot to get everything back up to normal. And then the GPIO access requires super user privileges. I didn't have to do this, but uh, you may depending on the settings in your Raspberry Pi. 
user slash bin slash gksu space dash u root and idle. You're gonna want to run that. That'll allow you to have the. Um, it opens up uh, the idle with the necessary permissions that you need. You may have to do that. Like I said, I didn't have to do that, but I'm just putting it in there. I'm, I am gonna put in a uh, link to the instructions that I used for setting this up. Now we've got all of that installed. We've got the libraries installed. We're going to make a Python script that uses the DHT22. So I already have one in there. It's uh, planttemp.py. So let's do. Let's go with temp2.py. Oops. We're going to do nano temp. So what we're going to do is we're going to import the add a fruit libraries underscore DHT and we're going to import that as the variable DHT. Now we're going to create two variables here, uh, humidity and temperature and we're going to set those equal to the DHT dot read retry dht.dht22 .dht now if you're using the dht11 this you'll change that to dht11 I'm using the 22 it's a little bit more accurate and then the GPIO pin that is being used so what this is doing is it's reading the humidity and the temperature using the Adafruit library on the dht that's plugged into uh, GPIO4 now if you set it up on a different GPIO than I did, you'll have to obviously change that. And just for the sake of showing that this works, we're going to we're going to print this. And I'm going to print it like this. And when you initially print this, it's going to come into Celsius as as Celsius. Um, I'll show you how to change that to Fahrenheit if that's what you use. Humidity is going to be red. Now the formatting I'm using um, just makes it a little bit easier to deal with when it gets printed. And then we're going to dot format, and the first one's going to be temperature, the second one's going to be humidity. So this is going to print out the temperature in Celsius, the humidity in percentage, and using the variables T and H. Um, what we can do here is we'll change it to Fahrenheit, so we'll go Fahrenheit equals <coughs> It's going to be the formula is 9.0 divided by 5.0 times the temperature in Celsius, which is T, and then we add 32. And that's going to give you Fahrenheit. So let's just print that uh, just so we can see the difference there. And then star F, and we'll just close that off and uh, format. F and that should be good. So let's jump out and see how this works. So now we're going to do python temp2.py. And we have a little error here. What's the error? Oh, pseudo. Uh, that's the permissions thing right there. That's what happened. So running in sudo python temp2.py, give it a second to read, and you can see here that temperature is written out in Celsius, 22.2, my air conditioner is on right now, kind of almost blowing on it, the humidity is 55.6%, uh, again because of the air conditioner, and then the temperature written out in Fahrenheit is 72 degrees Fahrenheit. So now you can use this, you can pull the information using uh, your Raspberry Pi and that DHT, and you can send it to yourself however you need, which you're welcome to start following. It's going to be my indoor growing Twitter is going to be posting on there. Um, I am going to have quick guides made. You can check those out on my channel on how to set up a Twitter bot so that you can do this. You can send the Twitter uh, information from the Raspberry Pi, as well as how to send an email from Raspberry Pi to new uh, quick guides are going to be up and you can use those to send information that you get from your DHT from your Raspberry Pi.
Uh, so it, it, hopefully this tutorial was helpful to you. It was, it was interesting to watch. Uh, if it was, leave me a uh, comment, leave me a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'm going to put a link to my other channel, my indoor growing channel, where you can see me setting this up in the, uh, in the grow room. Uh, so that we can see the temperature as well as getting the camera set up so I can take a snapshot once a week of those peppers. So check that out. Leave a comment. Subscribe here. And like always, guys, good luck and have fun.